Oh, yeah. See, we plan ahead. That way we don't do anything right now. Earl, explain it to me. Let's see here. Ah, yes. So, the, I don't know if this is good news or bad news. The director of The Babadook, which I haven't seen because everyone... Decent movie, we'll say. Everyone said it was terrible, so I didn't see it. I go uh, decent, which means it's about 50% for me. Fair enough. Uh, is supposedly working on a very famous horror book. And sources close to the director have said it's Clive Barker's The Thief of Always. No. No. Please don't the, do this. This has been... Uh, a book that's been he's they've been wanting to make it into a movie someone's been wanting to make it into a movie for the I've last been wanting to make this into a fucking movie 30 years and the fact that it hasn't happened is disgusting the fact that most of Clive's mo books haven't become movies as opposed to say just Hellraiser or Lord of the Illusions is disgusting Still waiting for the great and secret show yo just the great saying. Yeah, like that's my favorite book of all time, The Great and Secret Show, Everville. This this is my second second favorite of his. Um, this was kind of like Peter Pan meets uh, Pinocchio in a way. It's like ooh, you remember it better than I do. It had, it had more of the concept of uh, Treasure Island, didn't it? Uh, I would say so. Now I haven't read it in quite a while. It is my favorite Clive Barker book in general. I actually have a first edition signed on my shelf out in the living room. Oh, wow. If I would have remembered before we went live, I would have grabbed it. <laughs> but I do I do have that. Um, it's actually one of the first books I bought off of Amazon back in 1997, everybody. Yes, Amazon, when they only sold books. Not I even CDs it off of yet? There. What's that? Not even CDs yet? No, yep, not even DVDs either. Although I eventually did buy DVDs in 97 from them. Thank you for my very first shadow in a CD case, which was a DVD. But no, uh, I love this book. I had a paper back for the longest time. I read it so many times in high school and like in college until I got that edition. And I read it till it fell apart. Such a good book. It's, it's a short and quick read. And this is one of those, this is one of my baby books like this is one of my grails you fuck this up you will piss me the fuck off and i want this to be awesome i want it to be good if it is i will sing the praises of this movie till the end of time if it's bad i will be your worst fucking nightmare period we will troll you it's like gary with like fucking lord of the rings jesus christ well, I want I want Rings of Power to be good, but it sucks. This is that for me, The Thief of Always. I love this book growing up. I just love this book. I I love him. Like his his creativity and his art is just so singular and so wonderful and and violent and romantic all at the same time. So I I cannot wait to see if this this one gets made. I don't need another Hellraiser movie. Um, hell, I don't even need the books of art yet. But I I really right. would like to see this. Yeah, because this this is something that can get more people into Clive Barker. More people can see this story. Like younger audiences can see this story. Will yeah. it be as popular? I don't know. But like if if it was sold well enough and marketed well enough, this could do really well with getting audiences in the seats. So keep it away from New Line Cinema. Gotcha. Right. Just Fuck. saying. Fucking WB. But, but anyway. No, I, well, we'll have to wait and see on this one. But like I am watching this with like a stern eye. Like I saw what happened with my Dark Tower books from Stephen King. And then the fucking movie. Which was oh. casted right, but the script was fucking horrible. Also, keep in mind, watch this with a grain of salt, because I've only found this confirmed <clears throat> in two places. Here, and someone that actually talked to Clive Barker at a signing recently, who, who said that it was the director of The Babadook. 
And the only reason why I believe that is because I know that's Clive Barker's MO. He's got loose lips. He's awesome that way. So underrated as an author and a director, in my opinion. Oh, completely. Completely. Nightbreed, Um, come on. Where's everybody at? We're hearing the median all the way down, beating on the walls. Anyway, thank you for watching this clip from our Dead Wire live streams every Saturday night at 9 p.m. Pacific time. Did you like this clip? If so, please make sure you hit that like button, share and subscribe to this video. Stay tuned to all of our video content. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.